Hi Aquarius and welcome to your healing reading. Um, I do apologize that yours is a bit later than um, the first nine. I really have had to take breaks in between these because they're just so long and intense for me. I need a longer period of recharging between them, that is for sure. So Aquarius, I apologize. Um, what I'm going to do here is this is a reading intended for people who would like to heal with you, okay? I'm going to draw four different personalities and um, I have incorporated the court cards from four different tarot decks to get a wide range of energies and personalities to come through. I am keeping this open for passed on loved ones as well, so if you feel a personality and storyline is speaking of a past on loved one you can go with that um, you may resonate with one or two of these or maybe even all four of them all right so let's get started Aquarius and see who wants to heal with you Right, so we have the masculine of heart energy. So right away, this feels very um, male to me. It could be a female who's just very in tune with her masculine side, okay, since we have feminine and masculine energies within all of us. But for the sake of the reading, I'm going to refer to this as a male. And this would be somebody who's more mature, so I'm likely to feel their age 30 or above. Also um, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who's getting very in tune with their heart space. And that's where you are existing right now, Aquarius. They're really feeling you in that capacity. Their energy has softened quite a bit, despite um, why there's any distance or disconnection between you. Their heart has softened a great deal, and they want to heal with you. Um, they have emotionally matured quite a bit since you last spoke. They've just really thought about things, and they're feeling... Um, their emotional self about you more than anything else right now. Next out is the feminine of karmic energy. So Aquarius, this is most likely a karmic relationship. We'll draw more cards to see. But this, um, you know, is a more mature energy again. So probably somebody 30 or above and feminine, very strong feminine energy. So I will refer to this as a female. And this could be um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person is somebody who you've been through a lot with, Aquarius, okay? Like you've been through a lot with this person, especially if they're karmic. Um, a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache, a lot of life lessons. This is somebody who's very one-sided, very selfish type of energy. They could also perceive you that way, even if it's not the truth, okay? It's just this being uh, karmic is like you guys have a lot of karma to resolve this lifetime. So, um, you know, this could be a soulmate with a lot of unfinished business from previous life. And it's like you got to work through all this karma before you guys can find middle ground. Or this is just a karmic relationship. And karmic is somebody who you have, you know, energies to resolve with. But once that's complete, you're out of each other's lives, okay? Next out, we have the messenger of thoughts, telepathic messages. So right away, Aquarius, um, this is the strongest for past life energy coming through so far. Okay, and um, so this here um, is either a passed on loved one, which could be an air sign, you know, a fellow Aquarius, a Gemini or Libra. It's a younger energy. Um, this also could be a child, all right, just because of... Um, what this card represents. It's a younger, less mature, less experienced energy, like somebody who is 20 years of age or below. So um, very strong as passed on loved one. And this is, you know, butterflies would be a way of communication where you see them that is your passed on loved one. But with telepathic messages, um, they're giving you, like, they talk to you, maybe even through your dream time, like, you feel this person if they've passed on, okay? They're around you all the time, Aquarius, trying to guide you, trying to help you. Um, it feels kind of like a humorous energy also attached to this person, kind of like a trickster, a prankster, um, would 
you know, get a kick out of spooking you a little bit if they could get away with it, okay? Just kind of like a, a fun, playful energy. Don't take things so seriously, like, is uh, what I'm getting as passed on loved one. Now, if this is somebody embodied, Aquarius, this is definitely... Um, you know, somebody that you have a strong, strong connection to and them coming through like as young, like this young energy could be somebody all the way back from your childhood or this could indicate this was like a newer connection before it separated. But despite all of those details, um, the most important message here is there is this telepathic, empathic connection that you have with this person and you both feel each other quite a bit. All right, next out, we have the masculine of ego energy. So this is more air energy, um, Aquarius. Oh, and I'm sorry, this could be male or female. And so this could be a fellow Aquarius. This could be a Libra or a Gemini. And this is, again, a more mature energy, somebody 30 years or older. And this you know, male, again, being the masculine of ego. This is somebody who um, is very similar to this karmic energy, but the connection feels a bit more stable with this person than it does with this person right here. It's just this person, very self-centered, um, thinks they know everything, thinks that they are right. Um, it's just like they have this superiority complex almost going on about them and they don't mean harm by it like that's just truly who they are Aquarius it's just like that's their personality that's their energy to all not just to you or to a select few it's just this person is very hung up on themselves a lot of self-importance um, wow yeah this one's a bit intense but Aquarius again all these energies want to heal with you and it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be a romance you know it's different for all of you but each of these people truly desire healing from you know whatever has separated or segregated you guys in the past so let's pull some chakra cards aquarius to look at this from a spiritual perspective like why is there disconnection and discord and what is the spiritual lesson and ties and connection going on with each one of these relationships all right so under this um masculine of heart energy wow you guys have the star soul chakra universal light so aquarius this person is definitely a soulmate to you and there is a lot of life and spiritual lessons that you both um receive from each other okay if this person has passed on uh, they're so guiding you and trying to like really help open your crown chakra expand your consciousness your spirituality like get you really in tune with that part of yourself and if you're already you know quite gifted spiritually this person is like a guide to you trying to help you even like grow and further expand your gifts okay so as a passed on loved one um, they are like part of your spiritual team right now and you are being grown and reshaped. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to all signs and synchronicities, Aquarius, because it's coming in strong. And again, if this is somebody embodied, it is definitely a soulmate, but you guys have a lot of like life and spiritual lessons intertwined in your experience with each other. Under this feminine of karmic, we have the third eye and we have clarity. So this here, Aquarius, this karmic uh, relationship, um, I'm still on the fence of whether you and this person are a soulmate and just had a lot of karma to resolve or this is just a karmic uh, relationship in this life journey because with this third eye, Clarity, you had a lot of lessons you've learned from this person, whether you realize it or not. It's made you so much wiser, more in tune with yourself, um, with your intuition, with the vibes, made you more worldly, like understanding deception. And, and you've just, you've learned a lot, whether you realize it or not, Aquarius, through this particular relationship. And that's the primary purpose of it, whether it's soulmate with a lot of karma or just karmic. It's like, 
there was a lot for you to gain out of this and it was really to come into like your consciousness and um, better align you with your intuition so that you trust yourself and your vibes much more so people can't fool you people can't trick you people can't take advantage of you like you've become very mature um, in your experience and your understanding through this relationship messenger of thoughts we are coming out with the sacral chakra and this is flexibility so this person here um again really strong for passed on loved one uh with that card as well this aquarius as a passed on loved one they're helping you like with your passion your creativity your life purpose like not just the you know routine of your everyday but really helping you get in tune with your core and what would really make you happy in this life like your potentials that maybe um, you don't believe you can achieve or you're in the process of and they're encouraging you the whole way through blessing your plans okay so as a past on loved one trying to help you come into your highest potential possible okay and pushing you and um, wanting you to make yourself you know uncomfortable and push the limits and the boundaries of what you think is possible and capable for you big time um, encouraging and supporting you as an embodied person Aquarius this connection right here again it very soulmate and it's like you guys are very different from each other this person okay and through that connection and that those differences it's reshaping both of you and teaching you both like tolerance and patience and self-discipline and I really feel that this relationship can mend and come back together for sure if this person is embodied it's just um, it's like kind of like you guys are shape-shifting trying to figure out how to properly fit and connect in with each other because the soul bond is there it's just you guys are very different breeds very different creatures um, personality lifestyle life choices just something along those lines and it, it's teaching you both a lot more tolerance than you had before and lastly with this uh, masculine of ego we're coming out as the base chakra and we have Mother Earth. So um, this connection, Aquarius soulmate, like you guys honestly across the board have really strong soulmate uh, bonds coming through. Even with this one, um, like I said, I'm on the fence of whether it's a strong soulmate and you just had a lot of karma or it's just karmic and karmic is where it just dissipates out of your life. Um, but man, it's like everybody coming through Aquarius you have these deep soul ties with and um, this one is no exception in fact this one down here uh, I feel like you guys many 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 lifetimes with each other okay and um, this time around you know with the mother earth chakra it's like one of you is that ego that pride that self-importance and the other one of you is more like the humanitarian, empathic, sensitive, caring, um, you know, not this need of I'm so important, me first, this, that, and the other. Like, and what's interesting is it's like you guys balance each other, okay, even though it causes great friction and contrast and conflict between the two of you through like through the course of your time in this life together it's like you guys slowly balance each other out where the one who's very giving compassionate humanitarian um, may be doing that giving themselves away to a fault and through this connection it refines them and they become more balanced where they give but they know the limit of that okay and this person the one prideful ego self-important me 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 over time is coming more into their heart space their empathy their compassion their caring okay and balancing out to where it's not just all about them but they also have this compassion and concern and care for other people involved where as you know much part of their life they didn't have that they grow into that and it's through your relationship together that that will be achieved okay and so with mother earth there um, this could be really
really strong like a, a sibling or a cousin um, of yours or like this lifelong friend that's part of the family this feels very family like sibling cousin um, lifelong friend type of energy where there may have been like competition going on um, between the two of you but Aquarius that's like you guys signed up for these like vastly different personalities and energies to work with each other this lifetime so that you both could really grow and expand into higher potentials okay and um yeah i just feel like whatever personality or costume you both are wearing like when you transition it's almost like you guys are going to look back and laugh at yourselves okay because the bond and the the lifetimes like the eternalness that I feel from this connection is stronger than any of these others. Even this one with the star soul chakra, okay? Um, it's like this is your roots, something that grounds you, like your home base, your northern star, um, your conscious, or your their conscious. Like, man, this is a, a very strong tie at the soul level. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, okay? And don't let this lifetime and what's happened fool you from that connection at the soul level because you guys are just playing roles to grow, expand, and learn, right? So that went on the end there. Something very, very special, Aquarius. So let's pull some messages. And this is um, unspoken messages from their heart or from other people involved. So let's see. All right, so under this masculine of heart energy, we have soul. Your truth was more than I could handle. So... Um, this person's acknowledging, like, you know, you were not wrong, Aquarius, and whatever you said, um, really cut them deep, okay? Really cut them deep, but remember, like, you guys have a lot of life and soul lessons together this lifetime, and this was part of it. You did your job, and, um, you know, they really care about you, and there's a lot of connection there. But whatever you said, it really cut them quite deeply, okay? Under this feminine of karmic, um, we have some ego. I take advantage and I use people. You are not the only one I've done this to. I'm not surprised to see this because, like I said, this relationship and connection was making you wiser, um, more worldly, where people can't take advantage and things like that. Maybe where have they have been able to in the past be just because of everything you've been through. And here she is confirming that. Next out, we have some soul. My perception is beginning to change. Give me time to grow. So this as an embodied person, um, yeah, like I said, you guys are just very different and, you know, give me time to grow. Like they recognize that the soul bond is there um, where this is passed on loved one. This is letting you know, like through their transition, regardless of age, their perception has shifted and they're very wise and they have grown. OK, under this masculine of ego, we have some ego. It says I am codependent, but I'm not fully aware of this. Yeah, that to me is kind of speaking more about like this competition, this power struggle um, between the two of you, okay, and the, it's interesting, the codependent, because like I said, I feel like um, you guys, through your connection and experiences with each other, really eventually balance and round each other out, and so maybe that's why it does have to feel a bit codependency, because it is um, right now, until you both really grow and expand and mature, and then you could be inter interdependent, in a relationship with each other with no competition whatsoever. Okay, so let's pull some more messages. All right, so under the masculine of heart energy, we have spirit guide coming through. You both need a lot of healing. I am helping with that. Beautiful. Aquarius, yes. You and this person are going to heal, okay? Like I said, this person's energies is really softening, 
Um, and they had to get real with themselves and with the universal light there's star soul chakras spirit guides coming in and soul you guys will get through this you will heal you will mend you will be better for it on the other side okay under this feminine of karmic wow more ego energy karma hasn't caught me yet so i'm not really aware of how my actions impact you um yeah so karma is going to get this person a bit aquarius um just for you know what has transpired like and this is more than just with you okay who this person is in general is not the greatest to everybody they are involved with I just feel a lot of deceptive um, using manipulative type of energy from this person and it's like you and anybody else close to them like that's who they are because this says I take advantage and I use people. You are not the only one I do this to. Karma hasn't caught me yet, so I'm not really aware of how my actions impact you. So it's like when this person, when their karma all comes back, when their energy returns, and it's not just with you, but from many different sources, their whole world is going to be rocked and turned upside down, Aquarius, and they are going to become a whole different person or they're going to become incredibly bitter and worse than before. It's a choice. You can either break down and stay where you at or you can rise up and grow and become bigger and badder than ever before. And so this person I feel has more of an inclination to kind of break down and become incredibly bitter. So just keep that in perspective. Yes, they want to heal with you. Aquarius, but I feel like there's a lot of life that has to happen to this person to really change them and wake them up. Over under this messenger of thoughts, we have more soul energy. I'm finally reaping the karma for how I've treated you and others. Okay, so Aquarius, as an embodied person, um, there is some expansion, some growth happening here where they're waking up, they're seeing, they are connecting the dots, they're starting to take some ownership. Um, again, as a passed on loved one, you know, the different things that happen regardless of their age, okay, um, because karma doesn't have to be a negative thing. It's like they're really projecting and helping and um, guiding you and others, okay, uh, after they transition like that, they're like a spirit guide giving soul manna to you and others, okay, because um, they, like, I feel this shape shifter, I don't know why I keep feeling that here, um, you know, it's like 20 age or younger is the maturity level, and um, if they've transitioned on, it's like they're letting you know my perception and my maturity is infinite. It's not this child that you recall. I'm infinite now, and I'm guiding you, okay? And I see, um, you know, if this was somebody who lived very recklessly and carelessly, like, they see the consequences of their actions and how precious life truly is and the magical gift of it, okay? Um, as embodied, again, they're they're shifting, they're changing, they're having an awakening very similar to this person here. All right, so with this masculine of ego energy, we have soul. I wasn't emotionally available. I lied to you about that. So this person, um, Aquarius, I feel part of this competition, if this is like a, a romance, um, and look at this, I think about you often, and I hope you feel my thoughts. I kind of feel like that goes for both of these people right here. Um, <clears throat> it's just, you know, if this was romantic, it's like you could have been with this person, but they were never like in love with you or expressed it or showed it to the depth in which that it, you know, could have existed because I wasn't emotionally available. This is somebody who's really closed off emotionally, um, either due to, you know, past things that have happened and it's really caused a lot of harm and hurt and heartache within them so they closed off um, or this is just somebody who has no interest in intimacy and vulnerability and emotions okay and, but that's changing all right like I said Aquarius is something about your connection that it's like awakening them to that as your connection with them is making you reclaim your personal power and you know learn boundaries and your value and things of that line blah, things of that nature so um this one here 
like they know where they went wrong they know where they do wrong Aquarius regardless of what they say um, or how they project they know where they do you wrong or how they've done you dirty and it bothers them and that's good because that's part of this lesson you guys signed up for this lifetime because through that guilt and remorse that's getting them in touch with their vulnerability their intimacy emotionally in you know getting into their heart space which is where they need to be to start growing and expanding and um, with I think about you often and I hope you feel my thoughts both of these people um, think about you a lot and hope that you think about them or that you feel their energy okay so Aquarius let's pull some more cards All right, so under masculine heart energy, we have summer, take notice, synchronicities. Um, this to me is saying summer is significant. Okay, you're going to reconnect in summertime. Um, summer was special between you and this relationship, but really pay attention to the synchronicities all around you, Aquarius, especially when it comes to this person. Okay, next out with this feminine of karmic, um, we have the union sign 222. So, this right here finally clarifies for me, Aquarius, that this is a soulmate that you have a ton of karma with that you guys have got to complete and work out before um, you know you guys have a positive relationship that has stability to it and by the looks of this all this ego energy coming from her it's going to take a minute okay she has to grow up and become a bit more honest stop taking advantage of people and when this boat gets rocked when that karma returns I think that's when this person has a paradigm shift, all right, Aquarius, and here it is, you guys come back together and actually have a solid, um, you know, healthy type of connection opposed to all this karmic that goes on. Next out under this messenger of thoughts, timing not right, sign barriers, okay, so this right here, Aquarius, is a really strong confirmation of this past on loved one type of energy, okay, um, because it, where it says time, timing not right, it's like sign barriers, it's like they're transitioned and you are not, so um, there's that barrier there, all right, and there is no physical face-to-face -face healing, it's just soul to soul with this person, with this card. And as an embodied person, Aquarius, um, this to me is letting you know that there will be healing, but it's not as quickly as I feel it's gonna take place as right here because this person needs to shift their perception and grow a bit, okay? So the barriers that exist, trust them. You guys will come back together when the time, okay, is right. And lastly, we have um, the unseen sign 111. Okay, so with this one, Aquarius, yeah, you guys are definitely soulmates. Uh, if you see 111 or 1111, that's a sign and synchronicity for you to pay attention to in regards to this person because look at this is card one even okay and this is um, card one in this deck and then 1111 um, or 111 I should say so this tells me you guys are going to have a new beginning you're meant to you guys are soulmates okay and as a passed on loved one they're definitely projecting a lot of energy to you helping you out and there's things up ahead that they're leading you into that you don't quite see just yet so Aquarius, I do like that this is one, two, and then this is card 33, because to me, um, what that tells me is this 33 is a master number. You guys are coming back together, okay? Two, 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 the union. You guys are going to heal and come back together. This right here, card 50, five is challenges and changes. So you guys will come back together, but you've got to move through these challenges and changes first okay which has a lot to do with this person's maturity and growing and then the one you know a new beginning unlike anything ever before you guys balance each other out okay and you will figure it out and you will get it right eventually um, between the two of you so let's pull some 
tarot cards now, Aquarius, and see what else is coming out. All right, under this masculine of heart energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah, this is the restoration of this connection, Aquarius. Like, I feel this is the energy they see you as, which is somebody who is very stable, very wise, loving, and nurturing. And they want to be back with you. They want the connection back with you. And look at that, the tower. Okay, so I feel like this person, um, the healing and restoration of this relationship is actually shocking to you, the way it happens. But it feels really good, Aquarius. Um, with this feminine of karmic, we have the Hierophant. And we have the Six of Wands. Yep, look at that. That's spirit bringing this person to the carpet for everything they've done. And that is what changes them, Aquarius. Over here, under this messenger of thoughts, um, three of wands, you have done all you can do up to this point in this relationship, Aquarius, and you've got to trust spirit to handle the rest because, again, uh, four cups coming out here. It's like this person has a lot of growing and maturing to do, and it's starting to happen, and they think about you, and they want to work it out, but they've got to grow a bit first. And lastly, over here on the end, we have the chariot, so you guys getting things worked out and the lovers so this one uh, could definitely be more of a romantic nature Aquarius but here it's like when you guys finally figure it out and you heal and you mend and you make up um, it's like permanent like you guys aren't gonna have a like you it's not to say you'll never fight or anything but you won't ever have a falling out like you've had this this last time okay it's like a much different vibe and experience and with the lovers it's like that person is meeting you more in a heart space than they ever have before okay and if this is romantic um man it's like when when that person you know can play fair and stop being in competition with you for whatever that's about um you guys can have this beautiful loving relationship okay it's just they've they've got to grow and mature a little bit a little bit of evolvement or evolving being done down there so let's um pull a card aquarius to see what can help these relationships heal um faster or help you heal and mend all right so we have take the first step um, that's here with this masculine of heart energy. So with this Aquarius, if this is like you, um, you're the reason why we're not speaking or we're on bad terms. This is spirit saying, take the first step forward um, towards this person and they will receive you very warmly. Okay. Um, if this is where, you know, they have burned you, hurt you, um, whatever, uh, you've got to decide, Aquarius, if you're feeling the internal promptings to reach out to them, okay? Um, because it may be if you're really feeling that spirit is leading you, but ask for a sign, ask for some synchronicities, because spirits like synchronicities are all around you. Take notice. And it might be like, are you supposed to reach out and walk back? You know, if you're picking up on that, Aquarius, there you go, there you are. Next out with this feminine of karmic, the world is at your fingertips. Uh, this to me is just letting you know, Aquarius, that like spirits got this. And once this person's karma actually returns to them, it's going to change them. They're going to realize who they are, what they are, how they've been acting and the different changes that they must facilitate within themselves, okay? And in the meantime, it's like, don't hold yourself back, Aquarius. You've learned a lot. You are a wise soul from this connection and trust spirit to handle things, okay? Over here, look at that. Two hands reaching up with a feather. I love that because ugh, so strong for past on loved one. Capture the moment we cannot live in the past. Wow. Aquarius, if this is a past on loved one that you've really been struggling with the loss, again, 
they are with you and look at the feather there, feathers and butterflies, a sign, a synchronicity, and that's even like little hands. So this could be a very young person or somebody who transitioned at a younger age, like you feel like they were too young um, to transition and pass on. And they're saying you cannot live in the past, like uh, though my physical avatar is no longer there, like I still exist and I'm here with you now and I'm guiding you, okay, I'm here, like feel the thoughts I project towards you, Aquarius. Now, um, those of you where this is about an embodied uh, person, capture the moment, we cannot live in the past. It's like accept the past for what it is but be in the now Aquarius because when it's time for you and this person to reconcile the barrier will lift they just have a lot of growing and maturing to do and I think somebody's driving down my street bumping their music okay last here at the end help others heal by letting go of the past yeah these feel very connected because look at that's like a butterfly Okay, um, being uh, transposed on to these hands here. So there's more hands here. And then these, I think about you and hope you feel my thoughts. So um, this person here, it's also about the past. Like, you know, the past has benefited both of you and changed you and grown you and shaped you a lot, Aquarius. And this relationship is meant to be for like the rest of your life. This is a very strong soul bond soulmate connection right here and it's like let the past go forget the past forgive the past and accept what could be in the now and the potential for the future forward um, because this here I just feel it comes back in to your reality Aquarius this is a really strong soulmate like the strongest connection I'm feeling out of all of these okay so um, let's pull some message from heaven cards and so Aquarius this will either give you um, a final message um, if you're viewing these as past on loved one and if not if this is an embodied relationship then this will be advice about this relationship okay from a past on loved one so let's see what uh, comes out here for you guys Okay, we have, I have no more earthly worries. So this is under this masculine of um, heart energy. So if this is a passed on loved one, uh, Aquarius, they're good. They're like a sunflower. They're the rising sun. They're good, okay? Um, much better than they were in their physical body. Uh, this here, very strong of that. Like, I don't, the things that you worry about for me about this life, don't worry about those things because I don't worry about them. I'm free now. Okay, I have no earthly worries. Um, this here as advice about this relationship, Aquarius, it's kind of like, you know, whatever's happened here, again, you guys had soul lessons and life lessons to learn from each other. And don't let that impact the bond and connection that exists when you guys come back together. It's like just let everything be what it be. Next out, we have we will be together again. So as a passed on loved one, um, this is just letting you know like here was our life. We have another life. We will we'll be together again. Okay. Um, as advice. Uh, from a past on loved one about this relationship if it's embodied this is just you know yeah you and this person are going to reconcile Aquarius but it comes after um, all of their energies return to them and change who they are a bit down to the core messenger of thoughts wow <laughs> I see all of your thoughts I think about you and I hope you fill my thoughts like all these thoughts going on over here here it is yeah as a past on loved one Aquarius you are telepathically communicating and connecting with this person still okay they're very much in your life in your world they're trying to help you they're so grown and mature now compared to who they were embodied and they're guiding you and trying to help you heal and mend and just whatever's going on in your world and they're just a thought away they really see your thoughts Aquarius so remember that and when you see the butterfly um, the f or the feather here okay that is them letting you know I am very near Aquarius as 
um, a, advice about a relationship that's embodied this is letting you know again like you and this person whoever this person is Aquarius you guys are telepathically connected empathically connected and it's just a matter of a, a bit of growing up and maturing you guys are very different um, but you teach each other tolerance and like that aspect of shape-shifting where I feel you will eventually figure it out and you guys will be very strong, have a very strong bond, okay? Um, but just remember that, like they fill your thoughts, you fill theirs. Lastly, over here at the end, life is a series of choices. Choose love. So as a passed on loved one, um, again, this would be that energy of somebody who is a bit more aloof, disconnected, cold, disinterested, not letting you know how much you truly did matter, okay, to the degree and depth of that. And as a past on loved one, they're acknowledging that now and saying they were wrong in that and that, you know, always choose love. Don't be like me. Be vulnerable. Be intimate. Even if you get your heart broke, that's more worth living and experiencing than playing it safe okay and keeping on the sidelines so you don't get hurt like that's not the way to live at all and they're really um iterating that strongly and you know give second chances and forgive because life is a gift and it's magic and um, when we return to the non-physical we have a whole different perception of what matters and what doesn't okay um, as uh, an embodied person this is advice again that this person is um becoming more vulnerable and more connected to their heart space through the connection with you Aquarius and they will come to a place where they choose love over anything else all right so Aquarius those are your messages um, before I end the video I do want to say for those of you who really want to heal somebody with somebody um, try doing the little Hawaiian prayer um, you quiet your mind and you know think of the person you want to heal with whether they're wrong um, and at fault or you're wrong or at fault it really doesn't matter think of them project your love and positive energy towards them and either say in your head or say out loud a few times I'm sorry please forgive me I love you thank you and just do that several times throughout the day and before you go to bed because Aquarius what you're doing is setting the intention to heal and um, as you do that Aquarius what's going to happen is you and this relationship is going to come back together and heal and mend or you are finally going to heal enough inside to where you can let go and move on and it no longer hurts you or harms you okay so Aquarius those are your messages I am wishing you guys all the very best take care